a messy start for many candidates vying for the Oval Office in 2024. Uh, so messy, in fact, that some analysts are asking this question. Seriously, are both parties trying to lose? A new report from Melman Consulting is asking that very question. The report points out the struggles on both sides of the aisle ahead of the next presidential election, from unpopular candidates uh, to negative campaigns to election distrust and a whole lot more. So joining us now is Bruce Melman, founder of Melman Consulting and former assistant secretary of commerce. Uh, Bruce, how you doing? Thanks for joining the show. Thanks for having me on. I'm doing great. So in your latest deck, uh, I loved this. You called the 2024 matchup between President Biden and President Trump, quote, the least anticipated sequel since Caddyshack 2, which you got to love. And I think a lot of Americans are, are nodding their head in agreement. Uh, but you do pose the serious question, are both tri parties trying to lose this election? Do you really believe that to be the case? No. Uh, both parties are clearly not trying to lose what's and I've got a theory about why they're doing what they're doing. But what's so crazy is both parties are doing what you would do if you were trying to lose. So if you wanted to lose, if you and I were plotting how do we lose an election, we do three things. First, pick an unpopular nominee. Check. Both parties have a candidate in case of President Trump, former, or former President Trump, President Biden, with 39 percent approval rating or favorability rating. So that's one. Two, you'd want a nominee that people were worried about whether they'll even be around four years from now. In yep. the case of the Democrats, oldest president in American history, so some are not illegitimately asking the question about his staying power. In the case of the Republican as uh, the nominee, as the uh, as the section, as the, sec as the segment you just had on ahead, guy could be in jail. Number three, how do you highlight the issues where you are weakest with independent voters? In the case of Democrats, independent voters wonder whether the, the Democratic Party is beholden to teachers unions over parents, whether they're taking crime seriously enough, whether they're allowing too many uh, refugees in cities. They're hosting their convention in Chicago, which highlights all of those issues. Republicans, by contrast, keep putting the issue of abortion first, yet over and over again, red state and blue we find that we are a nation, two thirds of whom agree with the Roe approach and one third of whom agree with the Dobbs approach. Yeah. And yet Republicans keep leading with that. So I, I almost humorously say the possibility is maybe they're trying to lose, but that's not the probability. Yeah, I know you're saying they check all the, the, the negative boxes uh, of what we would do if we were trying to lose this thing. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you, you say Trump is seen as a liability to the GOP, uh, but at this point, ahead of the primary, it does look like full steam ahead for the former president. What would actually need to happen, Bruce, for one of the other Republican candidates who are polling very low at this point to actually overtake him in the polls? <laughs> Uh, they're all asking themselves the question, smarter political brains than I are trying to figure out what planets need to align or what aliens need to visit Earth. <laughs> um, it's First, you'd need to have everybody drop out and all get behind, say, a Nikki Haley or a candidate that seems like, in theory, they could unite the remainder of the field. Um, second, then I think you'd need something to kind of upset the support among base Republican voters for President Trump. And, you know, everything I could come up with and a hundred things more have all already happened. Going back to 2015, everything in my mind, the shots about McCain, the Access Hollywood tape, you know, my, my theory is opposed to they're trying to lose the election of what really is going on. Is I think the Democrats are a party led by their elites, by the party leaders, and Republicans are a party led by the base. The party elites think with their brain, they're rational, they think about electability. And even though 67% of Democratic voters and lean Democratic voters don't want, they, they say give somebody other than Biden a chance, the party leaders realize, let's stick with a guy who beat Trump the last time and, and a, hopefully a comp that wins competitive again. primary would be messy. On the Republican side, the leadership knows that Trump can reasonably be blamed for losing the House in 2018, the White House in 2020, and not picking up the Senate in 2022. But they're afraid of their base, and the base loves the fact that Trump fights. Yeah, and so far, both of these men uh, seem to be inv uh, invincible heading into the primaries. That, that's an uphill battle for anybody uh, in the GOP candidate field uh, to take him over. Bruce Melman, really fascinating conversation. Thanks so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to 
find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.